Hello YouTube users, in this beginner's video tutorial, I will teach you some of the things that you need to know about the properties panel. First of all, the properties panel is this panel right here, and it's one of the most useful and most important panels in Flash, so you're probably going to want to keep it in all your workspaces. The second thing is that uh, the properties panel changes depending on what tool you have selected or what item you have selected on the stage. So if I select a tool from my toolbar, the properties panel will change. The properties panel for all tools are different. Also, if I have an item on the stage, like so, the properties panel will change to show its properties. I can also change the properties of an item from the properties panel. So if I select this, you can see here that I can change the width and height of the rectangle and some other stuff. The width and height are locked right now. So I'm going to unlock them by pressing this. Now I can adjust them separately. Oh yeah, the properties panel also shows the properties of your document. All you have to do is click on a blank area. Here you can see the name, the published properties such as Flash Player version and the version of Action Script. Here we have the main document class and here we have Profile, Adobe Air Settings and Action Script Settings. Here we have the frames per second, I have 24, the size of the document, and the background color, and the Swift history. The Swift history only shows up if you have published or tested a Flash movie. I'm going to go to File, Publish Preview to show you what I mean. Now it shows me the size, date, and time. That's it for the properties panel. Laters.